Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to use Font Awesome in your Next.js 14 application with the new app directory structure. Font Awesome is an iconic font and CSS toolkit that provides scalable vector icons that can be easily customized using CSS. In this video, we will walk through the process of integrating Font Awesome into your Next.js project and using the icons in your components. There are some prerequisites that you have to consider before we begin make sure you have following installed node.js and next.js 14 you can create new project using npx create dash next dash at latest command or upgrade an existing project open your terminal or command prompt and navigate to your next.js project directory then run the command to install the font awesome package so let me open the terminal in my VS code. I already have generated my project that you can see and it is currently running in the browser. So now I will run this command npm install. So this command will install two packages. First one is at font awesome at font awesome slash react dash font awesome. This package provides a react component for easily inserting font awesome icons into your application next it will install the fort awesome slash free solid svg icons this package includes the free solid icons from the font awesome library you can install additional icon sets as needed so next step is import font awesome in your layout so next we need we need to import the font awesome css file in our applications layout so in next js 14 we will do this in the layout.tsx file if that file doesn't exist, you can create one in the app directory. So now let's open that search for the layout. Okay. Now in the top, let me import it. Import for awesome SVG icons and for awesome slash font awesome SVG core slash styles dot SCSS. Okay. Save it. Now import the config from the font awesome slash font awesome dash svg core and now we will set the auto add css to false so here we are basically telling the font awesome to skip the adding the css automatically so here we import the font awesome css file and configure the font awesome to skip the automatically adding css since we are importing it manually the root layout component will serve as the layout for our entire application that now that we have set up the font awesome in our application we can start using the icons in our components so let's create a new component called icon example dot tsx in the app slash components directory icon example dot tsx and let's create a folder components and let me move it into that folder all right now let's add some basic code in it okay so in this component we import the font awesome icon component from the font awesome react dash font awesome package and the fa thumbs up icon from the font awesome slash free dash solid svg dash icons package we can then use the font awesome icon component and pass in the icon prop with the imported icon as well as size prop to adjust the size of the icon now let's uh, use our icon example component in the page.tsx file which serves as our entry point for our application so here let me get rid of this generated code by the next js and here i will add a div and here let me add the icon example component make sure to import it from the components folder save it so here we import the example icon component and render it within the main page component when you run your next js application with the npm run dev and visit the http colon slash slash localhost colon 3000 you should see the font awesome thumbs up icon and the accompanying text so congratulations we have successfully integrated font awesome into your next js 14 application using the app directory structure you can now easily add font awesome icons to your components by importing the necessary icons from the font awesome icon component 
Remember, you can explore the Font Awesome library to find and use different icon set and styles according to your project's need. I hope that this video was useful for you. If you think that this video provided you value, then please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos. Also, please like and share this video. And if you have any questions or thoughts or suggestions or feedback, then please leave them in the comment section below. I will do my best to reply them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.